Saregama Karva 2.0. Hi, this is Utkarsh, and welcome to this world of stories from mythology, folk tales, and legends. Today, I'm going to tell you an interesting Welsh myth which pertains to the Celtic bard Taylorson. The Welsh people are an ethnic group and native to Wales, which is part of the modern-day Great Britain. The Celts were a group of tribal societies spread in and around the parts of Central Europe, France, Italy and the nearby regions. They are a very rich mythology which is known as the Celtic mythology. According to this myth, Seridwan was a goddess, sometimes she is also referred to as a witch, who had an ugly son. To compensate for his lack of looks, Seridwan decided to prepare a potion which on consuming would make him have all the knowledge of the world. However, the pot in which she would be making the potion had to be kept on boil for a year. At the end of the year, it would give three drops to consume and the rest had to be thrown away as it would be poison. After setting the potion to boil, Seridwan appointed one of his servants by the name of Gwion to keep a watch on the pot. At the end of the year, the potion bubbled over and the three drops fell on Gwion's fingers. Feeling the heat of the boiling potion, he put the finger in his mouth out of reflex. He soon realized he had all the knowledge of the world because he had consumed the three drops of knowledge. He also realized that when Seridwan would find it out, she would not leave him alive. So he ran away from there. But Seridwan soon caught up with him and chased him. Using the acquired powers, Gwion took the form of a hare, a rabbit, but Seridwan became a greyhound. Gwion then became a fish and jumped into the river, but there too he was chased by Seridwan, who had now become an otter. Gwion then became a bird, but Seridwan became a hawk. Seeing no alternative after trying the earth, water and the sky, Gwion took the form of a grain of corn and hid in a stack. But Seridwan ate him up after she assumed the form of a hen. When Seridwan took her usual form again, she realized that she was now pregnant. She then decided to kill Gwion when he was born. But when the child was born, he was so beautiful that she did not have the heart to kill him. So she put him in a leather bag and set him in a river where the baby was found by a prince. And it is said that the baby grew up to be the legendary Celtic poet Taylorson. This is an interesting myth when we see it in details. The very idea of empowering his ugly son with knowledge emphasizes that knowledge is more important than looks. She was sure that once he had the knowledge of the world, his looks would not matter. Brewing knowledge for a year goes on to show that it takes time to be learned and knowledgeable. Even in mythology, and for a goddess, it doesn't come easy. One has to work on it and allow it some time. Though the potion was being brewed for Seridwan's son, it ended up with Gwion. This goes on to show that knowledge will always reside with the one who has worked on it. It was Gwion who spent one year brewing it, so it was but natural that he should be the recipient of the knowledge and not Seridwan's son. Finally, and probably the most important inherent symbolism is that knowledge has the power to transform you, change you. Once you have tasted the fruits of wisdom, it acts as an agent of transformation. Gwion's ability to change from an earthling to a fish then to a bird is symbolic of his ability to experience life, changing instances due to the acquired knowledge. Saridwan, though depicted as a vengeful crone, has a maternal instinct intact. While she had noble plans for her ugly son, she doesn't kill her newborn once he was born. Again, a very universal depiction of a mother. An interesting myth with many dimensions of hidden symbolism. Taylorson went on to become one of the most renowned bards, who is supposed to have served in the courts of about three Celtic kings. He was highly regarded during the mid-12th century and was the author of many romantic legends. It is also alleged by many historians that he had also served in the court of the legendary King Arthur. 
It is not uncommon to find mythical or magical beginnings of certain historical characters. Such births only go on to add credence to such great knowledge and also gives the character a certain degree of respect and following, stopping just short of deification. In India, the noted poet Kalidasa too was supposed to have had a certain degree of supernatural support behind his poetic genius. According to legends, he was a born foolish person who was married to an intelligent princess. However, when she found out the truth, he was thrown out of the palace. Later, Goddess Kali was supposed to have blessed him with wisdom, the result of which was some of the masterpieces in Sanskrit literature. If you have enjoyed this story, then do come back for more. Till then, let me listen to my favorite song and you listen to yours on Sare Gama Karva. Thank you. भीगी भीगी सी पलकों पे रह गए जैसे मेरे सपने बिखर के जल मन तेरा भी किसी के मिलन को अनामिका तू भीतर से मेरी भीगी भीगी सी मेरी भीगी भीगी सी पलकों पे रह गए जैसे मेरे सपने बिखर के जल मन तेरा भी किसी के मिलन को अनामिका तू भीतर से मेरी भीगी भीगी सी बिन जाने बिन पहचाने मैंने हृदय से लगाया तुझे बिन जाने बिन पहचाने मैंने हृदय से लगाया पर मेरे प्यार के बदले में तूने मुझको ये दिन दिखलाया जैसे बिरहा की रुत मैंने काटी तड़प के आहे भर भर के जल मन तेरा भी किसी के मिलन को अनामिका तू भीतर से मेरी भीगी भीगी सी से नाता नारी से रिश्ता काहे मन समझ न पाया आग से नाता नारी से रिश्ता काहे मन समझ न पाया मुझे क्या हुआ था एक बेवफा पे हाय मुझे क्यों प्याराया तेरी बेवफाई पे हंस जग सारा गली गली गुजरे जिधर से जल मन तेरा भी किसी के मिलन को अनामिका तू भीतर से मेरी भीगी भीगी सी मेरी भीगी भीगी सी पलकों पे रह गए जैसे मेरे सपने बिखर के जल मन तेरा भी किसी के मिलन को अनामिका तू भीतर से मेरी भीगी भीगी सी